the night coming up right now. As you can hear. We got the dash cam, baby. We got the dash cam, baby. Alright, so we about to go hop up in the M4 right now. Don't worry. We ain't spending the day in here. First of all, free Palestine. That's first and foremost. So, what we got here, it's no secret. You can see it in the title and the thumbnail. And I don't quite know how this is going to work because I've never done this before. So we're going to figure it out together. You know, we're doing a little unboxing here. Let me just make sure my address ain't nowhere on here. What we got, and I apologize to VOFO. They, they did send me this. And it's been quite some time. Um, and I haven't done this video yet. Obviously, I'm barely doing it. VOFO, the A... 229 plus 3CH QHD plus QHD plus FHD dash cam with Sony Starvis 2 image sensors for front and rear 2K HDR Starvis 2. As y'all can see, so this is what we're going to be doing today. Like I said, I've never done this before. I guess we could just open her up and see what it looks like. I'll give y'all the first look. Oh, okay. See, that was a good, perfect opening. Couldn't have been any more perfect. Dash cam, cable, wiring, power input. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Optional interior camera. Oh, there's an interior camera as well. Rear camera. I see. All right. Well, there's the little diagram or whatever you want to call it. Here is the dash cam. Boom. Nice. All right. It's pretty nice. We'll see how it looks in there. You know, with the uh, radar detector, we got this little bad boy right here. Another camera. As y'all can see, look at the look at the focus on the camera though. The quality is impeccable. And then we got another one. I'm assuming it's the same exact thing. We ain't got to open that up. I don't quite know how I'm gonna do this yet. Uh, we got the user manual. Pretty much shows you how you gotta do it. Shows all oh, the best mounting location: connected car, cigarette lighter socket. Okay, so I'm gonna have to hardwire one of these and when i say one of these i mean this or my radar detector because i have my radar detector right now in the cigarette lighter socket i've just been too lazy to hardwire it so this is a beginner so if i could do it that means y'all could do it because i'm no more special than anyone out there i do pick up on things pretty quickly when i got in we're not gonna go into all that anyways let's keep it on this professional custom service Okay, we got the professional customer service here. Warranty, 12 months and three months for accessory. All right. Read before installation. Chet is mounted the camera. Okay, we got, we got this. We got some protective stuff. It's too big for this. I wonder what that's for, though. I, I don't know. I don't know what that's for. Guess we'll find out. So this, we got all the wiring in here. This will come in handy for a few things. Doing, uh, yeah, anyways. We got all the wiring here. Got some more 3M little applicators. See all the wiring. Nothing to hard, hard wire it. Um, so I'm not sure if that's an option or not. I'm sure it is, but I guess you have to get that separately. Uh, let me see. What's this? Oh, never mind. I am I am mistaken. Here is the hard wiring kit right on cue. All right, so we're going to check that out. We'll see what we do. I've never hardwired anything, but I heard that it's not that complicated, so we'll see what we do. Um and then we got polarizing lens down here. And we got the high endurance micro SDXC UHS I card with SD adapter, read speed 100 megabytes per second, all that 64 gigabytes. All right, there you go. So we got everything. I'm gonna take everything I need with me. Boom, boom. Got the cameras and all that. I'm gonna put this back in here, but that way we keep it nice and neat. All right, let's head out to the car. 
Alright, we're about to hop up in the M4. You know, I just gotta give you guys a little outside visual before we get in there. You know, looking good, looking good. Alright, so we're about to get to it, man. Uh, we're going to install this dash cam. We're gonna go with the easy way on this one. We're just gonna plug it right into the cigarette lighter, which I already have the radar detector connected to that but it's all good we're just gonna test this one out see about doing it the easy way on this one and then on the next one we'll you know do the hard wiring and also maybe even do the hard wiring for the radar detector as well but you see we got the camera here and it actually I got all the stuff it comes with the rear camera which we ain't gonna be doing in this one or at least I don't think so we might we'll see and it comes with an interior camera so we got both of those but let's not waste any time man let's just get right to it so i'm thinking i should just put it like somewhere around here i think that's a perfect spot for it to be honest you know it seems like it's out of the way um actually before we do that let's turn it on and just see what it would look like right there how about that? That seems like a smart thing to do. Oh, and I guess, actually, perfect. Hopefully this would work just by plugging it in right here, right? Pretty much the same thing, I would think. It just needs a power source. So if that's the case, that would be beautiful. Okay, we got power. Okay, so we gotta select the language and all that. Oh, okay. Gotta put in the SD card now. Oh, shoot. Thing turn off? I don't know what happened there. Okay, we're gonna start over. Miles per hour. Okay, formatting the SD. Memory card format, successful. Nice, okay. We can see everything here that's honestly perfect okay let's see only thing i don't like is it shows a little bit of that so when we can put it right here i think that should be pretty good all right let's do that we'll take off the film on the camera it actually comes with this what the heck so we could put that on there Boom, even better. Is it working still? Take that off. Oh, we didn't do the ASMR, my bad, y'all. Okay. We're just over here taking pictures. All right, so let's remove this. And it comes with these as well. You can put it on the uh, windshield, I think, but we don't need to do that. I'm gonna just put it. Okay, let's see how that looks. Real quick, before I press it down too much, Got the app right here, connect camera. You gotta press this Wi-Fi button. Go over here to the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi enabled. There we go. Wi-Fi connected. Okay, we connected. Let's go back over here. Connect the camera. And we are in there. Nice. Let's see, and we can move this. Video. Oh, that's real time too. There we go. So as y'all see, we recording, man. Switch camera. Oh, that's if we got the rear one. Um, it does, like I said, it does have the interior and the rear, but yeah, man, we connected. That was pretty easy. Now I just gotta run this over here and down and try to clean that up a bit. I'll probably run it right through here. So let's do that. It goes in there pretty easily. Let me go over here. Y'all view of the back. I mean, and this is just like something real quick, you know, obviously you could do this way cleaner, but I'm just showing y'all how quick and easy, like if you want to do it like this, how it could be, you know, you ain't got to spend too much time on it. Now, obviously that's not how I'm going to leave it, <laughs> but you really look, you can't really notice that it's even there, you know? So if you really wanted to be super simple with it, you literally have a dash cam now the wires are hidden the wire i should say for the most part i mean except right here 
um, but obviously the best way to do it would probably be running down here down here and then down and around here hide it and then even go right here so that's probably the way to do it and I ain't even like I'm not a professional at doing this this is the first time I ever did something like this so I'm just winging it right now to be honest with you but just to show you all that it's a super simple super easy installation if you want it to be obviously it comes with everything everything to do the hard wiring uh, as well so that's what we'll get into on the next one I've never done anything like that so we'll see how it goes uh, it's always good to see a beginner doing it I feel like just because most people watching it would be beginners I feel like not all obviously but most people would be beginners seeing like hmm is this something that I could do so basically if I could do it any of y'all could do it so we'll find that out on the next one but the installation was super simple you see we got all the footage right there parking stuff parking footage as well you can take photos let's go on a little ride let's go on a little ride and check this out It looks like it got disconnected, but I'll go ahead and uh, connect that again. Boom, we right back connected with it. As you can see, boom, we got the uh, we got the dash cam, baby. You know what I'm saying? Continuously recording. Wi-Fi keeps disconnecting but you know I could figure that out we'll go back right now and we'll see how the quality of the video that it records is but yeah man we lit simple it really could be but yeah man let's head back in and uh, check out the video quality see how it is right all right so it. as you can see as you can hear we got the uh, we got the dash cam baby we got the dash cam baby you see we got the uh, miles per hour down there in the lower left at the time got the day we got the direction Got the brand Viofo A229 Plus. Quality is crisp. I can't complain. We got the night coming up right now. Here, I'm listening to some Wes Watson. But man, I cannot complain whatsoever. It looks amazing. You know, quality is there.